hello guys you are welcome again to another new tutorials today i'm going to show you how you can create a stunning stroke logo animation like this one so you can show me support and love on this one by hitting the like button on the video subscribe to my channel already hit the notification bell and then let's get started create a new composition I'm going to leave this at 1920 by 1080p. Then I'm going to leave this at 30 frames per second. Then the duration of the animation at 10 seconds. Name your composition. Then you can use your own preferred settings. This is just a guide. And then hit OK. Right click on your timeline. Go to New. And then create a solid layer. I'm going to name this as BG for background then i'm going to hit this button make comp size right here then i'm going to set the color to a dark color you can select any color of your choice but for me i'm going to dark color will be okay then hit okay and then hit okay again Control i to import your logo right about here i'm gonna set this option to composition then make sure this uh, layer size is set to document size and then hit ok if you look at your project manager window right now a new composition has been created and a new folder added from the logo by the way if you want to have this logo you can follow the link in the description get the logo and the project file to follow up on this tutorial so expand the logo layer folder then highlight all the three layers drag and drop them into your composition take the pen tool on the fill set it to none and on the stroke right here set a color on the stroke width I'm going to set that to 55. Make sure no layer is selected on your timeline. Pull in like this and start tracing and drawing over the text. By the way, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, if you want a tutorial, leave your comment in the comment section then i'll reply to every comment if you have any question on how to use the pen tool i can even create a tutorial for you to follow and learn how to use the pen tool effectively so i'm going to trace again on the next letter i'm gonna drop the pen tool and then select the ellipse tool to create a perfect cycle on it Hold down the control and shift key to keep it very perfect until you have it covered like this. Right about now, I'm going to go back to the pen tool and continue drawing on the text again. Make sure you go over it again and adjust all the shapes so that they will perfectly cover the text cleanly. There are a couple of shapes under this shape layer so select all of them. Then go to add. Then add a trim part. Expand the trim part option. Move your time indicator to 2 seconds forward in time. Set a keyframe for the end properties. Then come back to zero. Then set the value of the end property to zero. Now hit you on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframe you just created. Select all the keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, then select easy ease. Then highlight this last keyframes right here. Go to the graph editor make sure your curves look like this if they aren't looking like this right click on the timeline right here and make sure edit speed graph is checked then move this handle inward a bit not too much somewhere around there then switch back to your timeline again now move the title layer right here to the top of the layer below the shape layer and then 
select the track mat right here and set it to shape so if you do not have the track mat right here you can switch it right here and then switch it back to set the alpha mat now if you play this this is what you going to have beautiful but currently all the shapes are revealing at the same time and they look very boring too to make this very interesting i'm gonna offset the keyframes randomly so that it will have more appeal looks to it beautiful the shapes are no longer revealing at the same time so now hit select the shape layer here hit you to collapse the option select the shape and the title text Control shift c to pre-compose it make sure you move all attributes into the new composition name it title and then hit ok select the pen tool again and make sure no layer is currently selected so i'm going to do the same thing i just did on the text and draw over the logo icon right here With the shape selected right here, go to add and then add a trim part. Expand the trim part option. Go to three seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for the end property. Then come back to two seconds back in time and then set the value of the end property to zero. Hit you on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe. Highlight it like this. Right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. Select the last keyframe right here. Go to graph editor and make the shape like this. Switch back to your timeline. This is what you currently have. Move the logo icon below the shape layer. On the track mat, I'm going to set this to alpha mat. Select the second logo icon right here. Hit Y on your keyboard to activate the anchor tool. Move the anchor to right about this spot. Then hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. Set a keyframe. Then come back to about this point and set the scale value to zero. Now highlight all these keyframes right here. Right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and then easy it. Then select the last keyframe right here and then move the curve slightly like this hit end of your keyboard to trim down your comp time this is what we have beautiful i'm gonna offset the scale value for the second logo icon i'm gonna make it pop uh, scale up a bit faster Select all the logo icon and the shape. Right click on it and then select pre compose. Name it logo icon. Make sure you move all attribute to the new composition, then hit OK. Select all the composition again, pre compose, and then name it master. Ctrl D on your keyboard twice to duplicate this composition twice. Select the bottom two compositions. Go to effect and preset. Type in fill. Double click on the fill. That will apply it to the two layer. I'm going to select the middle composition right here and set the color. Hit OK. I'm going to select the bottom composition and set that color to somewhat gray not white but a bit dark and hit ok now offset all the three layers by one frame each if you play this now this is what you have right click on your timeline go to new and then create a new null object 
select your pen tool, hold down control key and double click on the anchor tool here. That will move the anchor point to the center of the null object. Align that to center. Select all your three composition and make it a child of the null object. Now select the null object, move your time indicator to 3 seconds forward in time. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property of the null object. Set a keyframe for that. Move your time indicator to 0 and scale this to about 135. Select all the keyframe right here and then easy ease them. Okay, that is it guys. This is how you can create an elegant stroke logo animation using Adobe After Effects. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I make videos like this every week and then hit the like button because that will help the algorithm suggest this video to more people. Thank you for watching. Until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.